Hey everybody, it's Amy Kuhn here with The Paper Life, www.thepaperlife.com. We're at Creative Imaginations, and I am here with Sonia, and she is going to introduce all of you to Luminar. Um, well, especially me. I'm not very up on this, and I can't wait to get my education, and I want you guys to too. Um, this is another thing that can kind of cross over into the art journaling and um, scrapbooking end of things. So, go ahead, take it away. Show us some stuff about this neat of yumminess. Yeah, they're pretty awesome. So <laughs> we've got in the pots, there's 24 um, colors. They're heavy pigmented, highly mica watercolor paints. Okay. They're, um, they're super rich and intense. And that's what I really like about them. And, and they do look a little bit like makeup. So that's why you only need like this little guy. You, uh, yeah, because that it lasts is a so long time. intense. Okay. That lasts a long time. Yeah. It's like, um, I would say it's about 17 square feet. Wow. Worth of okay. paint on here. So, um, yeah, because we've gone and we've. How, you know, how long does it take? That out. Right. How long does it take to get through a pot? So, it's about 17 square feet worth of paint. Um, thick and thin. And the great thing about this paint is that you can. Um, you can just use a wet paintbrush and get a really uh, translucent. The paint so are, oh, by the way, yeah. It's kind of hard. Yeah, they are hard watercolors, like your little uh, kid's watercolor when you're a kid. In the, the little paint, trays. yeah. Uh-huh, they get come hard. You spritz them with water. You let them set for a minute, and then they, they get uh, viscous. So they get thicker as you let the water soak into them. Ah. So you take um, you take a paintbrush. Okay. And as it dries, you can see like the shimmery micaness of it. Um, this is a bronze color, so we hold that up more. Yeah, and get a get a little. Can you uh, see that? On that? How much is it showing? Cool. And, and it's mica in it. There is a mica in okay. there. And the cool thing about the mica is it isn't one color mica. Other brands um, that put mica in their paint, it tends to be uh, duller because they use a white mica. So uh -huh. it makes everything pastel looking. Yes. Because yes. you think you, you add white to red, you get pink. Right. So that's kind of what happens with other paints. Uh, the mica in this paint matches the colors or it complements the colors. So there might be a green mica in a blue paint that gives ah. you that other dimension. It creates a, um, several dimensions into the paint. Okay. So you've got them wet and we've let them sit. Yeah, you let them sit so you can kind of see yeah, it, like, how it, you how get it gets creamier. And it's a, it's a little different than watercolor. I it mean, is, it's a little more substantial. Yeah, you, you can use it thin like a regular watercolor or you can let it get thick like this and get a nice... It's such a pretty... And you can see, really, this one is really Yeah, sparkly. it's... Yeah, just and as it's as it's wet, you don't see the sparkle as much because you're seeing the reflection of the water. Right. But as it gets dry, that's when that, that mica starts to pop. Yes. Wow. They're, they're just so gorgeous. And how many colors do you have? In you the, know? Well, let's see. In the pots, in the ten, uh, or I should say the grande pots, those are, uh, we started out with 24 colors. Uh -huh. We just added six new 10 gram pots. So what does that make us? 30? 30. Uh, 30. 30. Wow. 30 30 of the larger pots, and then the smaller pots uh, come in kits. So you can see kind of how the kits oh, are up there. Oh, cute! With a little, and it comes with a little spritzer bottle. Okay. The, those were all. I'm gonna go grab one and bring sure. it up close. Those are the original six um, kits. So they're gonna get a water bottle. Well, spritzer. They're gonna get a spritzer, and then. The smaller, which it looks the like they're probably about right. this size. The petite, the petite jars. So, so um, what are these retail? Uh, that retails for thirteen. Ooh! So it's a good, it's a really good price. That point. is a good price. And the um, the large jars uh, retail for four. Four dollars. Four dollars. Okay. So you really need the value. Yeah. Plus, if you're a beginner, it's a really good place to start. It's never easy to put. We also came out. Yeah. Uh, 12 packs that are kind of like everything you could want. Right, right. In two colorways. So we've got the Rhodium and the Carnival. Which are these? Right? Right. Yeah, the brighter colors are the Carnival. Ooh, that green is Isn't that beautiful. gorgeous? I mean, all those colors together. Uh, we um, enlist, enlisted the help of two of our artists that are popular, but they're kind of on opposite ends of the spectrum with what kind of art they do. We have to And this is kind of the palettes that they chose. 
that they go to. Yeah.